Ooh, and welcome to this new concept. An interesting one. A stolen one, but nevertheless. I've not seen people do it for some of the newer maps, some of the new changed maps. So that's what we're going to do in this series. That's my plan. We'll roll with it. It'll help some people who are coming back to the game. It'll help you new players. It'll help everyone, I hope. So, start off with Outpost. Newest map in the game. Came out summer 2022. So, been out about six, seven months now. Controversial map. Some people like it. Some people hate it. Some people call it Mines 2.0. Some people think of it as the best map in the game. It's a controversial one. But what I'm going to try and give you is the information you need to play it to best of your ability, no matter what tank you're playing, other than Arty. Because screw Arty. Let's take a start from the north. The easiest map to camp. Arguably, the easiest side to camp. Arguably. Let's take a start off for light tanks. Start at the bottom, work our way up. If you're in a light tank, my suggestion, make your way towards the middle. That is the biggest recommendation I can make for you. If you're in the middle, you can get vision on here. You can provide vision on here. You can provide vision and potentially outspot a light tank here. You spot if they try and push up towards the middle. The way you want to make your way to here is you want to head down from here and just head through the middle, like so. That's the quickest way there. You have to be careful of the water here, where you can drown. But head here, you have two options. A slightly more passive location around the house. There's bushes on the left and right of the house. So feel free to play in either. Arguably the left hand side works better because you get better angles on here. So you're closer to here. So if you're using CVS, you should be able to spot here. Here is much more aggressive, and here as well. There's two bushes here you can choose, but you are at risk of being proxied by the enemy light tank, which goes here. Or, if the enemy light tank goes here, they may catch you as you try and head up into this bush, or up into this bush as you drive through this little gap here. Risk to be taken. That decision is left to you, depending upon the light tank you're playing against. If you're playing in a T100LT, and there's an EBR on the enemy team, it may be not a risk worth taking to take the aggressive bush. Take the more passive bush and try and play slow and spot any TDs that are trying to play here or here or anything that's trying to push up to the mid late. We'll move on to TDs. TDs on this map are arguably one of the more important tanks because of the vast, vast open field. And from the north, in my opinion, you have slightly better positions to be able to punish the field. The middle and the hill. So, slow TDs. We'll start off with slow TDs. You want to head down towards here. I'd recommend taking uh, a, an FV4005 down here, um, potentially. That'd be one of the better positions because you can play behind the house and you can work off your light tank's vision and you can aim for here. And as tanks get spotted up here, you can just delete them. Um, that is my advice for an FV, if you were to play here. Slower TDs. If we're talking heavy TDs, you could play here with an E4. But if you're playing with an E3, I'd argue your better decision would be to follow the heavy tanks. And you want to go down towards the heavy flank. And you want to play with the, the, uh, the heavy tanks down here against, their, against the enemy heavy tanks. That's my biggest advice for the slow TDs. However, if you are playing a quick TD, we're talking STRVs here, and a quick but accurate TD, you want to play on the ridge line here. You have to be extremely careful whilst you're on the ridge line here, however, that the enemy light tank does not spot you as soon as you fire and you get deleted from the positions here. So you have to bear that in mind. But if you have good camo rating, and no bush mechanics. You can work off the bushes here and you can double bush and you can provide supporting fire onto here. And as heavy tanks push up towards the middle, you can provide supporting fire onto there. Not only that, if the enemy light tank gets spotted, you can also provide good punish down onto the enemy light tanks. That is my advice for the, um, the, the faster and the slower TDs. 
We'll move on to mediums now. Mediums may struggle to find a place to fit in on this map. You may have to play like a, an assassin kind of role. If you're in a fast medium, we're talking CS63. And depending upon the matchup, if you're playing a Progetto and you're versus a T44, you could take the middle. In doing so, you drive up like so. And you have to be careful when you do so because you will receive fire from here and anything that's here. So that's why you have to be in a quick tank because otherwise you have run the risk of just getting deleted straight away. However, if you can take the hill, it is the best position on this map. Hands down. You can play here and provide supporting fire down onto here. Not only that, can you, you can also spot here and any tanks that are trying to cross towards the enemy heavy flank and you can provide punish on them as well so it's a good spot to farm early game damage if you can get up there quick head here you can spot any people who've spawned in late you can spot slower tanks like a mouse vk heading down towards the heavy flank and can provide early game punish however in doing so there is considerable risk that to peak you have to expose a lot so in doing so you risk being shot at but there are also other positions on the hill which you can peek from slightly safer. You have the area here. You can play in and around the two pillars here. And you can provide sporting fire down onto the enemy heavy tanks that are here. Any enemy heavy tanks that decide they want to take the spot here. And from here you can also still provide fire and any late crosses here. If the game has developed and your team has lost the city... You can provide covering fire from here, down into these locations, and down into here. You can then, if the game develops even further and your base is under threat, you can play from here and you can provide covering fire down onto here to protect your base. That is why the hill is so strong. Not only that, from this location here, let me clear it a little bit so we can see what we're doing a little bit more. You can provide covering fire onto here. And from the mid down onto here. But you have to be careful because it will be out of your render range down here. So that is why the hill is so powerful upon this map. If you can take hill, you can dominate the whole map. And you can protect your base very strongly. Moving on to slower mediums now. You probably want to take a more passive position. You can try and counter enemy medium tanks that are trying to push up to the hill or any misforgiving heavy tank trying to push up towards the hill by playing here. And you can provide good focus fire down onto here. My advice, aim for the tracks because you're going to have TD support from here and you can pick up a good amount of assistance damage. There is the opportunity to play a medium tank down in and around this area down here. However... It's unadvisable because of the height of these hills being uneven and the ability to be perma slotted by a light tank in the middle and punished heavily by an overpeaking TD here. So I, I'd warn against doing that. However, in certain situations, taking down here may be suitable and you might be able to catch out an enemy light tank which is headed towards this area. Um, and there is the opportunity to play behind the rock here and provide focus fire in towards the middle. Um, or if they've pushed aside and you need to fall back into here, you can stay alive for a bit longer with cover and fire from your TDs. Moving on to heavies. We'll talk about fast heavies, slow heavies, and cooldown heavies here. If you're playing a cooldown heavy, there's two spots on this map. One is cheeky and slightly risky, and one is very reliable. The cheeky position, which we'll start off with, just over here. You can head down if you're quick. You have to be a quick heavy to do this as well, I must say. Uh, we're talking probably the slowest pull down heavy you could do this with is an AE phase one, for example. Um, you head down from base and head straight in towards the water area here. And this pier is non destructible. And you can use this and you can reverse into the water and play off the pier as a pull down. You get great fire into all of these guys here. Uh, it's a really, really strong position if you're playing in a chieftain, for example. I would advise against taking it if you're in a super conk, 
But if the heavy enemy heavies are playing extremely passive and you see the opportunity to get into there with minimal punish, try it. Good spot. Also, if you're playing a slower hold down heavy, i.e. a super conk, AMX, I'd advise taking the position here. From here, you can focus fire, you can trade against the guys which are playing here. You can punish anything that tries to go up towards the hill. You can shoot if you over peak towards like here. You can shoot the uh, enemy TDs and you can provide fire down onto enemy light tanks. Pretty reliable position. However, if you're playing in a fast heavy, we're talking an IS-7, a 260, that kind of fast, you might want to take him towards a position down towards here. And if you're quick enough, you can head straight down here and take a spot into here. In towards here, you're above your opponent. Uh, so you might need good gun depression. So the 260 may struggle if the enemy heavy, heavy tanks takes towards here. But you can provide brilliant focus fire down into these guys down here. And basically suppress the whole town. Also, there's the pretty standard reliable positions of heading down towards here, playing behind the rock. Or side scraping off the side position here. Both of which are pretty reliable for damage. However, you run the risk of being over pushed if you're too passive in the town on this side. So you want to have that balance between aggressive and passive. Just a quick note. You could play a slower TD down in these positions. You could play a faster TD down in towards these positions. All of this is dependent upon how the game is evolving. But these are the standard starting positions. That's what I'm going to try and offer you. Is the standard starting positions from which you can then develop your game knowledge, your map knowledge, and decide, hmm, I want to go towards this spot. I want to go towards this spot. And then you can reuse those spots and it becomes a bank of knowledge for you to rely upon. We'll move on to the south now. A harder side to play, arguably. But still some very, very strong positions. We'll start off with the light tanks again. Light tanks, pretty generic, as I touched upon it briefly about trying to count, uh, playing from the north side and being countered by the south. You can play in a slightly more passive position or a slightly more aggressive position. Both provide equal spots, but one runs the risk of being outspotted by an enemy light tank. Here is the more passive position. There's plenty of bushes to choose from here. I'd set yourself up in the thickest bush you can find. And from here, you can get great spots on anything that tries to overpeak mid. You can spot any TDs playing here, you can provide vision up here, and you can provide vision to anything that plays down towards here. Reliable position. However, if you wanted to be more aggressive and you deem that you could do so, you can try and take the bushes here, and you're likely to get better vision on the enemy TDs playing here. So if you are playing in a platoon, for example, and you have a, a, a TD platoon mate sat in the area over here, it might be advisable to take the more aggressive position to get a more aggressive punish on the enemy TDs. We'll move on to the TDs now, from the south. Pretty standard positions, almost mirroring exactly what you do from the north. You can take the bushes in base here, and you can provide good punish towards mid. Any enemy light tanks, you can blind that. Anything that's playing down towards the south here, and you can snipe up towards the enemy TDs here. A lot more passive, so I advise taking this in a slower, um, a TD, i.e. an FV again, an object 268, stuff like that. More aggressive position for TDs is here on the hill. You provide obviously an exact mirror from the north. You provide fire in towards the mid, fire in towards here. You can even start blinding towards this or shoot towards that if it's spotted. And you can over peak towards here and provide good focus fire if your light is lighting it up for you. But you do have to be careful that you don't get outspotted by a light tank in the mid and punished from these areas and these areas who will be aiming for this area. So it's a careful and it's advisable to play pretty passive here. We'll move on towards the medium tanks and you can do the exact reverse from the north basically. If you're in a fast medium you want to take towards the mid and from this side you can provide fire in towards the enemy base potential to spot an enemy artillery if the enemy artillery is playing up in the A9 location and vice versa works. You can play from here and you can shoot down in towards the town. You can play from here and shoot towards anything late coming in. You can play here and snipe the TDs which are likely to be sat here. You can shoot anything that's spotting late and alongside that you can play from here if your base has fallen and you can get great focus fire into anything pushing through your base. And you can play from here and you can support the town if your town has lost. 
and once again you can shoot towards here. So a very very flexible position and as I once again before I forget you can stay in the mid and you can provide great focus fire from the mid. So you can shoot basically the entire map from the mid. Hence why it is an advisable position to take and if you have the opportunity to take in any tank, take it. It is very strong. Once again, you can play down towards the south in a medium tank, but it's risky. You can very easily get over pushed and punished heavily by the TDs and perma lit by the light tanks. So it's very situational. We'll move on towards the heavies now. And once again, you can play the mirror of playing the mid in a haul down slower heavy like an S-Conk. And you can provide pretty good focus fire onto these guys and punish them if they over peak. You can over peak once again towards here and you can provide shots onto here, onto here. So there are opportunities for you. However, the town runs a little bit different for the heavies on this side. There are slightly more aggressive positions you can take. You do have to be careful, as I said, from anything taking the hill. But if you're in a quick heavy, you can go down towards here and you can take into the houses here, which can provide a counter to somebody who plays into the hall down here. Anybody who plays onto the high here and anything that decides it wants to overpeak from here. However, if you're in a slower, more side scrapey heavy, I'd advise taking a position here or here. And if you're in a slightly more cool down heavy, which is in between, so basically a super conk again, really, you can play into here. However, here you have to be careful that something playing here doesn't count to you because they will do. So that's the map guide for Outpost. The newest map in the game. I've only been out eight months. That's my opinions. As I said, this is an opinion. This is where, as an above average player, I take my tanks too. I see good players taking their tanks too. And I want to pass this on to people who might not know what to do on the map. They're new to the game, coming back to the game. First time at a higher tier. That's my goal with this map guide is to basically provide you the information to play better but yeah thank you very much for watching any thoughts any maps you want to see me do next put it in the comments like subscribe and i do stream on twitch so if you want to come see my face and laugh at my receding hairline like many people do come watch me on twitch links are all in the description but yeah thank you bye